I thought it was a great ball game, and uh, you know, we I know we never breathed easy until we saw a roll and catch that last out in center field, but uh, we were able to get some runs early. Felt uh, like we were in pretty good shape, and uh, but their guy really settled in, did a great job of mixing his pitches, and really didn't throw anything straight. Everything moves, and he could throw any of his pitches when he wanted them, and uh, hit some balls hard. Couldn't find a hole. And uh, then, to their credit, they battled back, and got back in the game. Uh, it felt like uh, you know our bullpen got some big outs. Taylor Wood came in and uh, uh, got a big out. Before that happened, Deck struck out uh, their three-hole guy. Uh, I'm drawing a blank on his name right now, but he scared me every time he came up there. Uh, but he struck him out, and then we uh, brought Taylor and Joseph. We brought Taylor Wood in to get uh, the lefty, which I thought was a big out. Uh, and then I thought Rulon did a great job of, uh, you know, throwing strikes late in the game. So, uh, gave us a chance, our pitching, and then uh, felt real good about uh, when Feltis came up uh, to the plate. We find out a, a, a guy I'd rather see up there more than him because I think he's a great uh, clutch hitter and has been all season. Uh, so, it was, it was all good for the Yellow Jackets. And, uh, but I, I tipped my cap to Lipscomb. I thought they played extremely well. Um, I thought Lipscomb was a great team. We uh, tried to come out here with a lot of intensity, and they uh, getting up three runs. You know, we felt good, and they just battled back. Um, our pitching kept us in the whole game, and we we're lucky enough to get some uh, good hits late in the late in the game to put us in the lead. And I thought our pitching uh, kept us in the game the whole time. Question for the stuff? Yeah, fine. Can you, can you tell us just about that at bat in the, in the eighth? Um, it was a, I was just trying to get a, take the first pitch, get a good look at the guy, what he, how he was throwing, what angle he was throwing at. And um, then after he threw the strike one, I had, a, I had to get it going soon. I didn't want to get back, uh, get too far behind in the count. And he was, he threw me a pitch I was able to hit in the gap. And, and that was about it. I was pretty excited about it. <laughs> Brad, uh, for, for those of us who see you all the time, you're, you're kind of known for your glove, uh, basically, but the uh, coach says you, you, you come through in that situation a lot of times. I mean, what's, the, what's, what's your thinking, what's your mentality? Uh, I mean, as a kid, you dream to, to have those situations when you're bat, and I'm just fortunate enough to have a couple of um, hits in those key points of the game just throughout the season. And um, I mean, you just dream as a kid to have that opportunity to uh, pick up your teammates. Coach, how much does it help you guys now that you're the only undefeated team left in the regional and not having to play that early game tomorrow? You know, that's to be determined. I mean, we, we, you know, I mean, I'd rather be in this position than than uh, the alternative. Uh, but you know, we still have to win one more game to uh, win the regional, and uh, you know, so we're in good position, but uh, we still have to win. Actually, I thought I hit the one better last, last night. I just got under it a little bit tonight, so uh, I mean, but it worked out. So just got under it a little bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> His car was parked out near where that landed. Oh, so. no, I said I hope they didn't get my car. Right. 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 Can you talk about this? Is, is this that the, the proverbial thing? The ball looks big. I mean, you're, you're it's 16 games now that you're really hitting it. Pretty hot clip. I mean, in, uh, in Jacksonville, I made a little bit of approach change, um, and it's been working for me. It's helped me to, you know, still hit the fastball, but also be able to wait back and hit off speed. And I think throughout the year, that was my uh, my one weakness. And you know, hopefully, my adjustment will continue to uh, to work. Proves that it's been working for you for two nights now. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully it will tomorrow. Yeah. Um, Dad, what was your just approach going into? Um, you know, they're, they're an aggressive team. Uh, we got to watch them play Georgia yesterday. and uh, I think they hit something like three home runs, and all of them came on the first pitch. So, uh, you know, my, my approach was to still try and get ahead, but uh, 
you know, not give them anything too good. And at times it worked, at times it didn't. And um, you know, I, I credit my defense because they made a couple, couple really big plays in spots where I definitely needed it. And he had last night a particularly good game in the field. Um, can you just describe a little bit just about what his defense in general means? And I'm thinking last night in particular, maybe that one play at the plate. Oh, well, it was a big play in the game last night. And uh, uh, you know, Brad's played, he, he's played great. He's had great leadership for us all year. Uh, you know, on the field, off the field. Uh, he's played good defense, particularly of late. He's really played outstanding defense. I mean, the ACC tournament made some great plays. But that was a key play in the game last night because it, it kept them from scoring a run. And uh, so he's, he's, playing, uh, he's playing great. I've got time for one more question. You, you mentioned that uh, you like him in those situations. I, I just didn't know the career 256 there or something like that. But, uh, but you like the idea of him being in that situation. No doubt about it. I mean, I, I think he's a great competitor. And, uh, you know, this is the first year that he's really had an opportunity to play every day. And uh, he's, you know, waited his time. And uh, now it's his time. And he's, uh, he's making every, uh, every minute he's out there count.